Okay guys, just doing some maintenance on the rig and um, basically I've got this new um, tire inflator. I think I got it off Amazon, apparently in one charge. You can do eight bicycle tires. I've done three down the other side already and uh, I just remembered that uh, Dave said, oh, why don't you show some boring stuff like you're changing a tire or something. Well, I'll show you a bit of maintenance. So I'll, I'll do up the tires. Um, these last three, I'll just show you one, that would be bloody boring otherwise, but there's a way to do this with this machine and uh, the best way I've found so far is to thread this on first, not all the way because it'll just let all the air out so you just nick it on there, otherwise it's almost impossible when you have it connected to that, it just doesn't want to bloody go on there so it's going in now i think yep so you just get it up just to just before it starts letting the air out and then you bring this out and then you thread this into here it's a lot easier this way believe me if anyone knows a better way let me know i'm all for it but so far this is the best way i've found and you just nick it up the rest of the way. Sorry, it might be hard for you to see, but it's difficult to uh, get in there. It's very windy here today. I've um, snuck in behind this wall here. Uh, I had the rig further down before and I was in there cooking a sandwich and um, the whole thing nearly tipped over. If I wasn't in there to push it back, uh, push against the wall, it would have tipped over for sure. All right, so we just turn it on. I don't know how well you can see it, guys, but that's it there. So these tires, these Schwal Big Ben Pluses, can go up to 55 psi. So I always put them up to 50. As you can see there, it's at currently 33.5 psi. And so all you do to start it is just click the power button again. The 50 there is where it goes up to, and as soon as it hits 50, it turns itself off. Just like that and to turn it off you just hold it again down and it'll turn itself off you've got to keep it down until all those little lines disappear so you to, to take it out you can just undo it that's the best way because that way no air will come gushing out because this machine's stopping it all right so that is how you inflate the tires with this thing i'll leave a link in the description area for you guys um where'd the bloody top go the cap oh, i've lost the cap yep or maybe it didn't just didn't have one all right so how i check the spokes usually i go around with a knife or a fork and listen for the ting but i have learnt that it is just as quick just to come around with your hands like this you sorry your fingers and just give them a go uh, this way you'll see if any are broken and if they're loose you just give them a nick up with the, the spoke tool I don't have a wheel truer or anything else like that guys I just do that I used to do it with a knife and fork it used to take forever so now I just do it like that all right
Okay, here is the new attachment point and it is from a company called Telesen. I will leave the link for that in the bottom of the description along with the air pump. I currently still do not receive any money for these links guys. I tried doing the Amazon thing and um, just didn't work for me at that particular time. So I've got to get some more subscribers and then I'll try again. Hopefully make some coin. I have a Yulanzi um, charging thing there so I can stick, um, I think it's the camera or the camera with the power pack on there and shove a type C gizmo in there and have it charging up under here while I'm riding and that way I never go flat. I've been caught out a few times with stuff like that. Uh, just quickly once again with the the tire inflator that I purchased and just showed you um, I've been getting a lot of flat tires recently um, and it was because I, I the tread had gone down somehow and things were lancing through and I think the Kevlar barrier inside these tires had been compromised somehow uh, and I was getting a lot of punctures. I also didn't have the PSI correct. I didn't have it at uh, 50 PSI. I think I had it at somewhere between 30 and 40, which is just not enough. Um, and I put a new tire. It was this one down here actually that I had all the problems with. Uh, 10 flat tires within a week and you can imagine the swear words. Oh yes, it was on for young and old. So I ordered two new tires because I'd burnt through those doing that Flinders run and all that crap. I got new um, brake pads coming soon because uh, I'd fried through pretty much the brake pads that I had doing those um, hills around Flinders. Uh, so what this, so I probably didn't explain this, this is a camera mount for my DJI action too. So now I can film um, back towards myself, which you'll see soon. And the other side over there, there's another thing that I've Frankenstein together, which is, isn't one of these. These are really good actually. I've tested it out a few times now. They're really solid. I'm gonna get another one and put it over that side for shooting forward. This one's um, kitted out for shooting back. So I um, also want to show you some other stuff I have done here with the back door. I made it look uh, a lot more high vis. Am I happy with how it looks? No, I am not. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, actually. It looks bloody hideous. Uh, I really don't know what to do. I'm going to leave it for a while. Um, I re would really like to do it the same colour as the back, the green and the black, and then just have white, like white arrows like that, which I still may do. But for the moment, I'm just going to do it like that. That took bloody three hours just to do that. It was really windy the day I was doing it down here, and it just went pear-shaped, mate. So um, what else can I tell you about the rig? Um starting to make the squeaky noise that it used to make just before the bearings went out. I can't tell which side's making the squeak because it just sounds not the same when you're in the saddle. But the last time the bearings went, they went in the drive wheel here, the drive back left wheel. Um, and then I took it back to tri-sled and Ben chucked a bunch of bearings in there. So I'm, I don't think it would be that again. Um, but he did say that the other side will eventually go out. So I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating that it's that one that's going to go out. Um, yes. Anyway. Uh, yep, that's it. <laughs> the wind. You do it like the wind, mate. Okay, this is a test. The day today is Thursday. Oh, 
switch this around for a forward view in a second. <coughs> <coughs> There. <clears throat> I haven't got my microphone on, but you should be able to hear me all right. Batteries are pretty depleted at the moment. Even though yesterday was sunny and I was in the sun for about I don't know, four hours, maybe longer, it uh, still didn't charge me right up. And it got that hot that I had to go and put everything in the shade and lie down. It was just too hot. The squeaking noise you hear is my brakes. I really think I need new brakes. Going down those hills around Flinders, to Rosebud and Tarana, and then back through the hills again. Did not do my brakes any good at all. Uh, did not. 